Welcome to Georgetown Kia. My name is Len Hagen and this video is for Lori. Hi Lori, I thought I'd show you the 2616 Sorrento. This one is the 2 liter turbos. I'll show you here. That's the badge. See that? And uh, very similar to the one we actually drove. The seats will fold down in the back here. This it's what they call a 20 20, I'm sorry, a 40 40 20 uh, split. It does have that uh, storage space under the floor for anything that might rattle around in the trunk. And then here, this is for your toolkit and jack. See that? And I'll just go around the vehicle and kind of give you an idea. It's very similar to the vehicle we drove. Uh, it does have four wheel disc brakes, anti lock brakes, traction control. Bags all standard and I know you were interested in all-wheel drive and this one happens to be exactly that an all-wheel drive you can see that it has this uh, side mirror signal repeaters that's standard on this vehicle and you can see obviously that it does have fog lights again standard this is the 2 liter turbo engine uh, it's coupled with a six-speed automatic transmission still gets really great fuel economy for an SUV I'll just come around the vehicle to kind of give you an idea what they look like. And then I'll jump inside and show you some of the features. So, of course, it has power windows, power door locks, power side mirrors. Those side mirrors, mirrors are heated. This uh, is an upgraded level from the one that we drove, the 2.4 LX. You can see it does have power seat, power lumbar support. And let me just jump in and kind of give you an idea what the dash looks like. So this one, because it does have a bigger screen, uh, it actually, that screen doubles as a rear backup camera. And let me just start this vehicle and I'll tell you that it does have this special uh, key fob. We call this a smart key and uh, it does come standard with push button start. So if I show you in reverse, see what happens here. Hopefully you can see this in my video, but that is your rear backup, backup camera. It shows you exactly what's behind. It's kind of neat. It also does get uh, the rear parking sonar. Uh, remember I told you that you could run in intelligent mode in all-wheel drive, or you can actually lock it in. And you can see here in the center button, that's your lock switch for locking in your all-wheel drive on those nasty uh, days that you need it. And then obviously drive mode button here on the left and uh, that allows you to change from sport mode to normal mode to comfort mode that sort of thing and it has the uh, the gauge clusters similar than the one to the one we drove obviously the tack on the left over there speedometer on the right fuel gauge down below and then in the center you get uh, what we call a trip computer it basically tells you how fuel efficient you're being uh, along with uh, this particular model, you do get volume controls here on the left side of the steering wheel. Uh, and that's your Bluetooth connection there. Over here is cruise control and it allows you to also uh, scroll through and tell you how fuel efficient you're being actually. Uh, you can see that it does get a leather wrapped steering wheel and gear shift knob. That's just standard on this particular vehicle. Heated seats obviously is standard. Um, in terms of entertainment, you get um, a CD player, AM, FM, uh, satellite radio is standard. And you can see down here, there's an auxiliary port for an iPod and a USB port for memory stick and chargers on both sides of that. Just give you a quick view of the interior. It is not leather, it is actually cloth interior. And let me just show you if I can show this in my video. That's the leg room that you get in this particular vehicle and I'll show you that uh, up here in the rear view mirror that's the auto dimming feature that's what that green lights all about anyway Lori uh, thank you very much for listening if you do have any questions please call me again my name is Len and you can reach me at 905-877-7818 I'd love to hear from you talk to you soon bye now